Hey everybody, this is Brian, and we're talking about Magic 8-Ball, the stock market prediction engine. All right, if you don't know what Magic 8-Ball is, it's a piece of software I wrote that's going out and it's predicting the stock market. I hate saying the word predicting. It's actually just doing a lot of mathematical calculations in the background and then posting what we call a prediction or best guess out in Discord. All right, so the link is down below, but it's launchpass.com magic-8 ball. Once you sign up, you go into launch pass. It'll send you an activation code via email. Copy and paste that code in here and it will join you up automatically. So you don't even have to wait for me to be online. All right, so scroll down. Today we're talking about trades. Here is the latest prediction for SPX. Let's scroll down. Today's December 7th, 2022 at 1040 AM. So predictions, I've covered these before. We're talking specifically about the trade section today. We have got a predicted close of 39.32 and the price is 39.3576 with a difference of $2.78. So not really a huge gap. We are entering a little late, as luck would have it. Remember the magenta line is the price, the blue line is the predicted. And I will open this up, but I've got some, some information I wanted to share. Let's go back into Thinkorswim. My previous video, I showed how to add this indicator in here. So I'm just gonna modify this. In case you're wondering what this is, it's just simply an indicator that I built so we can plug these numbers in and see on the screen what's going on here. So we're gonna grab the predicted close, plug it in here. In case you're wondering, how do I get this indicator and do the lines move in real time? Well, you can get it from the notes section inside Magic 8-Ball. I covered how to add it in a previous video. And unfortunately, no, the lines do not move in real time. Thinkorswim will not allow us to import external data. So the lines are just gonna sit there. So you'll have to update it manually, unfortunately. I throw that out there because if you know of a proprietor that will allow third-party information, let me know. I've looked at like Thinkorswim, TradingView, things like that. So this is what it's currently looking like here. We've got a short-term prediction, predicted close, and long-term. So the short term's right here, the predicted close is about here, and the long-term's there. Looking at the TTM squeeze, we can see we are down a bit. So something's going on here. And then RSI is just kind of treading in the middle. Let's go back to Magic 8-Ball. And you can see what is going on here. Well, it's 1042, and this is at 1039. That's right, Magic 8-Ball updates about every five minutes or as fast as the little virtual machine it's running on will go. But no matter, we know that the long-term prediction, this 3930, is really the key here of what we're looking at. And you can see this chart right here. I will expand it here in a minute, but let's pick a trade. What do we want to do here? Hmm, let's look at this vertical. I'm gonna copy this. You can literally just copy it. And then we can go out here to Thinkorswim and go to trade. And I'm gonna delete that just so we don't have anything clogging this up. Do a little house cleaning here. All right, go to trade. Pull this open and you go to order entry and save tools, paste it. Click this little lock, get the newest price, and you can either confirm or send, which I would not do. I would analyze the trade to make sure it's what we want to do. So we know that that main node is 39.30, and we're thinking if price is going to stay in this range or go down. Now this is where I have to say buyer beware. So don't rely on Magic 8-Ball to generate all these trades perfectly for you. This was built by a human being, me, and human beings are flawed. I'm very flawed, trust me. So these trades are just suggestions. And these are not you know, magical predictions from the ether. Uh, don't expect them to be perfect. I do track trades and how successful they are, and I'm trying to hone that in. But when in doubt, always trust your gut. And that brings me to my next point. I am not an options expert. So over in education, I have added in Axe Options, Zero DT, which is Ernie, and Option Sandy. So I've actually been in all these groups. I'm currently in Axe Options. If you have no idea who that is, just type in Axe Options. It's this little icon here. Uh, Ariane, her videos are just absolutely amazing. I've learned so much from that group. Axe Options is kind of my second home away from home. And then you have Zero DTE with Ernie. He runs his own service and he's got just some phenomenal way of doing things. It just Watching his videos just makes my brain hurt because the way he views the market is very unique. And then 
Last but certainly not least is Option Sandy. And I'll go away notifications. Option Sandy, I'm currently observing her group right now, and they're a very tight knit group. They definitely know what they're doing. She's also just very brilliant. So check those three groups out. These are experts. Okay, I'm not getting paid to do any of these sort of sales pitches, and I hate saying the word sales pitch, but I really want you to check out their groups because I'm not an expert and they are experts and they have their own Discord servers. So back to Magic 8 Ball. All right, looks like the prediction updated. You can see there's our lines. We still have them on Thinkorswim and here's our volume profile down here. What trade do we want to do? Well, it's a bit early in the day for a butterfly, although we could do one. Now, you notice this 3940, this is kind of lining up with the actual price action and the predicted short term. So you guessed it, that's where a butterfly is trying to center is on the predicted short term. The iron condors, this takes the market edge. These are massive condors. I mean, let's actually grab one here. I'm gonna get rid of that vertical. Let's go here, delete that. Why won't you stay open? There we go. So we're gonna paste that condor in, unlock the price. Now you're looking at that premium going 60 cents, that's nothing. Well, here's why when we analyze this, that condor is huge. It is absolutely gigantic. I mean, this is just massive. That market would really have to move, but even these are not perfect. I have entered these personally and then made money and I've entered these and the market just goes zoop way out here and I have to close the trade for a loss. When in doubt, there is no perfect method. Yes, I'm working towards it, but always trust your gut and seek those experts that I mentioned earlier. So that's the iron condor, absolutely huge. Let's grab the butterfly. Let's just go through all these. We're gonna grab the butterfly here. And again, these are a bit buggy. The software is still new. Um, the trade system admittedly was added as an afterthought for newbie investors that said, hey, give me a trade. You know, They just want a trade service and that's not really what I do. All right, so here's the butterfly right here. Probably not a good entry point for this butterfly because the price is literally right on top of it. So um, typically with a butterfly, you'd want the price to be like over here and you'd want to slide into it or preferably you'd want an end of day pen right here and it's still fairly early. So I'm not confident the market's gonna stay right here. So that leads me to last but not least, our vertical. We're just gonna copy this guy. And notice this is a 39.55, 39.60 call at 1.6. And I also wanna show you how to, how to paper trade these. So we're gonna paste this in, unlock that. This is at 1.7. We're going to analyze this trade. And we think that, let's flip back to Magic 8-Ball. 39.30 is node one. It ranges up to 39.50. So 39.30 to 39.50, so there's node one. Let's move this over here. And it ranges up to 39.50. So as long as this stays here, we're gonna be in profit. Let's actually go in here and we're going to unlock that to get the best price, 190. Confirm and send. Now I'm paper trading. Remember, we did 190. I wanna show you something here. Let's go to the monitor, fill this out. All right, so it did it at 190. Sometimes when you go to fill, it'll give you what we call a crap fill, meaning no human being on the planet would have filled that order. So what you would go back here is analyze this, and then you can use this little up down buttons to simulate the change. So if it had filled it for like 155, I would just bump it up to 190 so we can actually see what's going on here. And then we would just ride this profit curve over here. Now, you can see how it's actually in real time kind of moving towards our node, but that's not always the case. Sometimes the world just will go against you, right? So let's look at Magic 8-Ball again, and let's look at this chart. And I'm gonna open up the original so we get a bigger version of this. All right, long term, 39.30 down here, meaning we're expecting this to, over time, go down here unless another node takes over. I'll mention that in a minute. Our price is this magenta line, and here's the current predicted close. Short term, we're thinking it's gonna jump up here. So we are expecting this price to jump up here and then snap down, and then snap down all the way to 3930. 
But I want you to notice something down here, this volume profile, this blue line. This is the volume of the market right here. These green lines represent subnodes or smaller nodes. And you can see there's little boxes. That's the range or the area of that node. So this red line, this is the main node and that is the main node area. This is the second node and that's the second node area. If you're confused about what I'm talking about, it's right here under the nodes, node one, node two. So node one is 3930, node two is 3980 and change. So here's node one and you can see it's a big node. And here's node two. Notice this black line, that is market center and the magenta is our price. So this price is actually starting to move up towards the market center. What that means is node two is probably gaining some strength and pulling that price towards it. This is like a tug of war here. So you have two nodes or two people, two poles, that are pulling that price in directions. So right now here are the two nodes and the tug of war is happening. If these nodes were perfectly balanced, this magenta line would be snapped right on top of this black line at perfect market center. But you can see node one is stronger, so it's pulled it towards it. What you as an investor need to do is A, trust your gut. Don't trust the software. Trust what you physically see in front of you. This is your money and this is your responsibility. And when in doubt, ask the experts. I'm encouraging you to talk to X Options, Ernie with zero DTE, and Option Sandy. They know way more than I probably ever will about options. I'm just a software developer. And always check back for the latest updates. You notice how the price is snapping up already. We did say in this chart it was going to go up here. And let's look at the newest chart. Yep, it's right up there. It has snapped right up where we said it was. So flipping over to Thinkorswim, we can see, sure enough, it's going up. Now, what's going to happen here is anybody's guess. What I suspect is going to happen, based off the Magic 8 Ball prediction, is that this is going to go up and then snap down. You notice these lines here are not fully updated. So let's update this. We're going to update Magic 8 Ball. So we've got a predicted close of 39.39.19. We have a short term of 39.48. And our long term is 3930, which is already in there. Let's go ahead and update that. Again, I really wish Thinkorswim would allow for real time data import. But what this tells me is based off this, is it is above our short term. And TTM Squeeze is showing me that this is up, and RSI is also showing me up. So what we're doing is we're using other indicators to validate Magic 8 Ball that yes, we think it's up and it's going to come down. Looking at our trade, it's over here. So we're in the danger zone. We could start losing money here. Assuming this goes down and everything goes perfect, I would not, personally, I would not wait until end of day. I would wait until about 50% profit or about right here-ish to close that trade. Usually once it hits that main note, it will bounce back out. So I wouldn't, you know, foolishly hold this all day long and hold it, but again, that's for you to decide and that's where these experts come in and they can really navigate you on your trading strategies. So best of luck and happy trading and I hope to see you in Magic 8-Ball.